Basics is a proud collaboration between Sony Malaysia, Z, and Lens Library. After you buy your first interchangeable lens camera, it really is only a matter of time before you start itching to buy a new lens for it. And since there is no realistic way to stop that feeling, let's at least talk about what lenses you could be buying. And since Jay's is from Lens Library, he is probably the most suitable person to be telling us about lenses. There are two types of lenses, zoom lenses and prime lenses. A prime lens mean, mean the angle of view is fixed. You cannot zoom in or zoom out. A lens that can do that, uh, okay, yes, it's called zoom lens. A zoom lens doesn't always mean you can zoom to a far away subject. There are zoom lenses that only cover wide angle. For example, zoom lenses are generally regarded as being more convenient because you can think of them like having a multiple prime lens in one lens. However, zoom lenses are often bigger, heavier than a single prime lens. Zoom lenses also don't typically have an aperture that are as bright as prime lenses. So if you want maximum bokeh, like me right now, yeah, you might want to consider a prime lens. But if convenience or coverage is your priority, there are plenty of zoom to choose from. Needless to say, if you want to show a zooming effect in your video, you can only do that with a zoom lens. You might have also heard people referring to a lens as a particular millimeter. That's actually referring to a lens's focal length. It's how wide or tight a lens's field of view is. A short focal length gives you a wide angle image, and a long focal length gives you a tight framing, making faraway subjects look bigger. In a broad sense, any lens wider than a 35mm is regarded as a wide-angle lens, while anything over 85mm will be considered a telephoto lens. But what about that middle ground in between? We call those normal or standard lenses, and most of the time we're referring to lenses like the 40mm or 50mm. At these focal lengths, subjects look the most natural because it resembles what we see with our own eyes. We also have a special name for lenses that serve the extreme end. Lenses with very short focal length are called ultra wide angle lenses, and the really long lenses are called super telephoto lenses. A wide angle lens have a tendency to stretch subject at the edge of the frame outward. Also, the wider the lens, the greater it will exaggerate the distance of the subject they are near to it. Telephoto lenses, on the other hand, make the distance between subject appear closer. Either end can have an unflattering effect on the face, but use them carefully and they could set up some really dramatic shot. But if your intention is to show your subject in the most natural way possible, a standard lens is your best bet, just like this 40mm Compact G. Once you've been shooting for a while, it's not that difficult to get a rough idea of what lens was used simply by looking at the image. Take this for example. It doesn't look too wide, nor is it too tight. So it was likely shot with a normal lens. This was in fact shot with the 40mm Compact G lens. Try guessing the focal length next time you watch a movie. You'll realize it's a very powerful tool for storytelling. Longer lenses, for example, can give a shot more sentiment by making the character look isolated, while using a wide lens close to a character can make that character feel powerful. Remember, the more you shoot, the better you'll get at it. Now we should leave you to it, but we'll meet again on the next episode of Basics, where we'll take a moment to talk about what exactly are all those picture profiles on your Sony camera. What picture profile? We're doing this show, we're supposed to know. But, is it PP off? Then turn it on!